Completing a Stuart Triple Expansion Engine, Part 49. Having recently had some surgery, I was not good yesterday, or at least until my next door neighbour called in and we did a mutually beneficial deal on a new video camcorder. I will start with views of the new camera filmed using my Sony AX53 and then move on to using this Canon X400 in the workshop for today's video about the vacuum pump fitted to my Stuart Triple Expansion engine. This video clip shows the camera that I've just done the deal on with my next door neighbour. It is a Canon X400 camcorder. By the way, there is nothing at all wrong with the camera I currently use, which is a Sony AX53. It's just that this camera does have some additional useful features. This camcorder has a handle, which is very useful, but my main interest in this camera is this, a really good audio interface. I recently sold a Sony NX5 camcorder that I bought in 2010, and it really did give very good service. But unfortunately, technology moves on very quickly. This Canon X400 is a 4K type camcorder. These images that you are currently looking at are not 4K. Both my AX53 camcorder and of course the X400 do have a 4K facility. For these daily videos, I just cannot afford the time to download and edit 4K footage. For the rest of the video, I will be using the Canon X400 camcorder. This is the vacuum pump that I've removed from the Stuart Triple Expansion engine. Here are some clips showing its construction. It's not as simple as it looks. This is the bottom part of the pump, and this bolts into a mounting which is part of the engine's sole plate. I had to remachine this part of the piston because it wouldn't go down far enough. I knew the problem is the size of the piston prevents it from travelling to its full extent in an upwards direction. I'm going to remove the top cover from the pump just to show you its construction. It's not what you expect. And to be honest, it's not what I expected either. This is just the sealing gasket. On the right hand side is the lid, complete with the stuffing gland. And on the left hand side, this is a flap valve. The function of this pump on a full size steam engine is to evacuate the air from the condenser. This miniature is a proper vacuum pump and does actually create a vacuum. And here, after removing the collar and the disc, I'm showing you how the flap valve works. The problem is that the travel of the operating arm, which is connected to the crosshead, is too much for the piston at both ends. What I'm doing here is clamping the piston in my three-jaw chuck, fitted to a Warco WM180 lathe, small but powerful. I think today I will have a wander up to the main workshop and pick up some small lathe tools because I've got plenty of holders but only this one tool working. I didn't want to do much yesterday because the day before I was having a transperineal biopsy of my prostate gland and for most of the day and most of the evening my toilet looked like a scene from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. But without the pain it's purely cosmetic. I'd just like to say that I've had no pain whatsoever either during or after the procedure. And if any of my viewers watching this are going to have a similar procedure, don't worry about it. It's a very simple procedure, and I had a local anaesthetic. While I've been telling you about this, I've been showing the machining of the piston. And now, according to my calibrated eye, I've removed just enough from the piston to make it go up and down just the right amount. I've done this so I can tighten these two nuts onto the operating arm. I didn't like the idea of having to leave a gap between the two nuts. It's all back together, time to try it. That's good, nothing's fallen off so far. Time for a bit of slow motion. I really hope the engine sounds as good as that when it's finished. The mechanism is getting freer all the time. Nothing on the engine is binding. It's very smooth. After this, it's fun time, setting the timing 
and I don't think it's going to be easy on this one. But always the eternal optimist, I'm sure it will be okay in the end. That's it for this one. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists, you can actually watch the videos back to back.